it's worth noting that these kind of statements or premises exhibit or are of a certain pattern, exhibit a certain pattern. All bachelors are unmarried. Notice it's all A's, all, let's say A's or bachelors, are B's. Some politicians are honest. All, some, excuse me, A's are B's. Similarly, no Muslims are Christians. No A's are B's. Now, in these patterns, we have the phrases A's and B's. They're preceded by a term telling us how many. right? How many A's or B's in the first one? All of them. How many in the second one? Some of them. How many in the third? None. So notice they're telling us something about the quantity of A's and B's. And for that reason, words like all, every, some are called, or no, or none, are called quantifiers. Because it quantifies, it tells how many A's or B's. And in fact, predicate logic is also called, it's called categorical logic, we learned before, but it's also called quantifier logic because all, some, none are the quantifiers, the logical words that are of relevance to the inferences. That is, those are the things that either are critical in making good or bad inferences in predicate or quantifier logic.